Why why are you drinking on a mo- on a Monday night the lead leading up to the t- Tash Scramble? You need everything to go your way on Friday. This is not the way to start the week. You I need don't. you need yeah, you do. You need to purify your four, body. No, I've got four chances on every hole. What? No, you don't. Well, I that's the way I'm approaching it. Okay. <laughs> Fuck me. All right. Okay, right. Episode eight. Um, we were meant to have a guest, but unfortunately they've had to pull out. So it is just your originals. It is me, Josh, and Eddie, and we'll have a guest next week, um, or maybe we won't. Depends. Really taking this one day at a time, um, since Josh has been in control of the whole set, um, the whole setup. So there we go. Welcome. Uh, go on. Just say welcome. All right, fair would point. you say would you classify us as the OGs? Yeah, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. If we did, this is our second OG episode, isn't it? Uh, yeah, we done the other yeah. one with Dave Jones, UK golf guy. Yes, we did. That was a good one. Yeah, the OGs feels good. Should we get straight into it? Yeah. This weekend yeah. was the absolute big one, the Catalina wine mixer. Um, the Amloch Town Cup. So for Bull Bay Golf Club, that's your big, big comp. It's an open comp, two-day comp, medal. And I actually don't know how you've played, Josh. I know I saw you in the clubhouse, and the only reaction you gave me was that you shook your head from side to side and just went... Can I just say... Can I just say something? Two-day... Medal competition, Josh Griffiths. <laughs> that doesn't right. go together, does it? it I don't know. No. I don't know the result, and maybe that's me being a bit. I'm I'm assuming here, so yeah, presumptuous. I should take a step back. I mean, yeah, a bit you, presumptuous there. When you assume, mate, you make an ass out of you and me. <laughs> okay. Normally, <laughs> but on on, on this. It, on this occasion, you actually aren't making an ass out of anyone, mate, because I, sh- I started off. I started off 85 net. 85 which, net. which wasn't okay. like awful. 13 back of the lead. Best score on the first day was 72. So I was just happy it didn't NR. I just can't shake the triples and the quads at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. The quads, you can't shake the quads as a fuck of a statement. A quint, what's the five ones? Quint, quintuplet, <laughs> doubles, yeah. quintuplet, double, or whatever, quintuplet bogeys, mate. I'm like, I do really well, and I'm not even trying to say this to be like funny or, or it's the ge- genuine <laughs> truth, yeah? I do a really good job at doubling the score that the, the scorecard says I should have. <laughs> par three, I was hitting sixes. Par fours, eight, and par fives, tens. I'm not even joking. Like, anyway, that was day one, and I scrambled. Fifteen over is not bad for considering how I played, right? And I, I kept. What's but what's even more disappointing, actually? You think, oh yeah, he he, he shot an 85 net off 19 shots. He must have lost loads of balls. I didn't. I pretty much had the same ball all the way around. It just took me that long to get that ball in the hole, right? So anyway, you what was the weather a, like? Really you windy. Are, you are an enigma, mate. That's why. And yeah, as <laughs> fair enough, the, the weather the weather was bad. And for a 72 to be the leading score in Town Cup, it says a lot. But I just want to. I don't want this to go too far. I may not be able to bring it back. Can we just revisit the quad bogeys for a minute? Can yeah. you talk? Can Which you talk? Part? Yeah. How can you not shake off quad boat? That's something nobody on planet golf has ever said. No one other than you <laughs> on the entire planet has ever said that. When people say I can't shake off the bogeys, 
the meaning of that is I'm close to par, but I just can't get that last shot in the hole. You're trying to reference right. four shots. So I shot, I shot 104 right into this head. I shot 104, yeah? Yeah. But pretty much, let's say I lost two balls the whole round. Okay. Right. Yeah. With 29 putts. Well, that's how bad <laughs> I was. I'm that's... the opposite to Scheffler and Rory, T to Green. Yeah, I mean, that statement doesn't, yeah, belong here. But that's both, <laughs> not to sort of skip forward into the next topic, but that's encouraging and discouraging for yes. Friday because it's good to know that you putted well. But the fact that you... Well, I I simultaneously, yeah, I have never had so little confidence in my golf game, but yeah, Brilliant. never had so much faith that it will get better. <laughs> it's Fuck. like it's yeah. like if you look at my swing last year compared to this year, it's like the difference in bounce levels between you two and me. It's night and day. The swing's <laughs> in a much better shape, <laughs> but I just can't tie it together. I just cannot. Threes off the tees, they're killing me. I found I hit a three off the tee on seventeen. Not even joking. Yeah. And three of tea, I piped down the middle. And I was like, I'll go and find my. I was trying to find, go and find my first one because I might pipe be it. To, yeah, I did. Pipe? did that one. One of the only shots I did, yeah. Josh, I, I, I'm sorry, mate. I I don't want to be doing this like all the time, but I need to cut in again. Um, I you say that you're both. What did you What did you say? How did you say it? I'm I I've never lacked. And as much com- confidence, but had yeah. as much faith. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be honest. I'm really worried about your golf game. I wouldn't be. Like I said, no, I've got faith. I'm yeah, George no, Michael, I'm... baby. <laughs> <laughs> Not without all the dodgy shit as well. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I genuinely am. Uh, and I feel awkward because I don't want to do this as your brother on a podcast, but... You've done it, Eddie. He's trying to. He's done it the whole time. Just go on. Yeah, I honestly, out of nowhere, I feel like I'm trending, mate. I'm, uh, I'm somehow. Don't ask me how. I'm starting to hit the golf ball again, and I'm starting to have a feel around the green. I've been putting in the lounge nonstop with the the Scotty Cameron. I am coming into some unexpected form. So, right? oh. Wait a second. I know that Eddie will always put in a good display. Yeah. Mm. Your law is a champion athlete. That guy's he's just won a medal in the Island Games, gold and silver. Two. Yeah. No, two two golds, wait, don't sell them on short anyway. Two golds, even better. That's what we've got on our team. Yeah. But when I walked into the clubhouse and I saw you, one of the first people I saw, and you just shook your head and just went, I was like this, I need to find a way to help this guy now. I think you need to help yourself because it sounds like, Ed, correct me if I'm wrong, did he not just say he's got a feel around the greens? <laughs> I've been putting on this carpet. What is that even about, mate? Right, so that's, that's I have to get that out of the way. That, that was absolutely ludicrous statement to make. Two, please do not be worried about what you're going to get on Friday. They call me Pat. Because I'm a postman and I deliver. All right. I know it's not. An, it's an original joke, but it's the truth. Don't worry. I'll get my four tee shots chalked off quite nice and early, and from there it'll be. Pl- I won't have. To, I won't even tee off. I'll just let Eddie spank drive everywhere. Okay. So, seeing as we've kind of touched up on touched on uh, Town Cup or reflected on Town Cup, so we are <laughs> move on to people are going to be wondering what they're talking about Friday. So. Friday is the biggest day of the year. Um, you could be getting married. You could be having a child. It doesn't really matter. Um, if you're not playing Texas Scramble in open week, um, you're not living, basically. That's what it boils yeah. down to. Um, we've had a solid team over the last few years, but haven't been able to play over the last two years. Um, so me, Eddie and Josh are back together and we got y'all joining us in the team and we are 
going to be trying to get our names on that trophy once again because we have won it in the past. And yeah, that's what we're doing when we talk about Friday. It's Texas Scramble Day. Disclaimer, I've never won it before. Uh, the interest staff, I must give them that. It's good knockdown as well, wasn't it? And Liam. And Liam won yeah, it. Yeah, I, I purposely left him out, Ed, and I will edit that out of the podcast as well. <laughs> <laughs> it was good knock. Harsh. It was a good knock, though, that you went with, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, yeah. we were. I think we were 11 under par, gross, and had four shots, which wasn't much, really. Yeah, well, these days, I don't even think 15 under par. We were discussing this with the new system. I don't even think 15 under par is going to be enough. I think you've got to be close to 20 with the new system. We get seven shots this time. Yeah, we worked that out, and we get around seven shots if we don't properly. Um, so, somehow, I don't know, but I'm not going to complain if it's official. Um, I'm less confident of us. If we get seven shots and we need to see 20 under, I'm... I'm a lot less confident now of us getting to 13 under par gross because I've got this, um, I've got the fact that you can't shake the quads off <laughs> out of my mind. I've never, if, I can't let it go. I can't, yeah, I, I can't let it go. I don't need to worry about that. I can come clutch on the odd shot. I can. My, yeah, sw- I my, my skull swing is built for sprints, not marathons. It's built for the odd hole, not for 18. So as long as I'm putting a bit of each, like as long as I've just got one shot to hit here and there, I could do that just fine. And my putting, phenomenal at the moment. It really so is. What's, what, so it, what's the point in you actually playing competitive golf then if it's built as, if it's for, as a sprint rather because than a marathon? I, because I'm I'm too mentally strong to back down from myself. There's two there's two of me. One says give up and one says no carry on and the carry on guy always wins. Right, okay. Well just to go back to the Texas Scramble. Number one, you better turn up in decent time for you to settle down. Because be. the last time we played, you decided to have an argument with your dad about the fact that you didn't take the bins out. Yeah. And then you turned up literally with three minutes to go in a huff because you'd fallen out with him and then that put you in a bad mood and we didn't have you for, well, I was going to say a few holes, but probably 18 holes. <laughs> hey, I held so, a few pets here and there. Yeah. So, so are you going to turn up on time? Yes. I'll turn up when you need me to. Not too early. Don't mind. I'm not turning up too early like you interest do. Okay. Any chance we could have a team lunch at one o'clock? <sighs> we'll see. There is a, no. Okay, can yeah, I no. stop right there for a second? You literally, yeah. three seconds before I asked you if we could have a team lunch, you said, I'll turn up what time you need me to turn up. And then <laughs> I just said, can we have a team lunch at one? Yeah, well, that's lunch is not really necessary, is it? I do, I'm spending about four hours with you lot. I would rather not try and spend any more unnecessary what, time with you guys. What What critical business are you doing in the morning? What, what, why can't you give us a little bit more of your time? Because I don't want to, plain and simple. I'm, like I said, I'm going to spend four hours with you lot on the course. Well, no, because we're having a few beers afterwards, so you've got to price that in. Well, exactly. Nah, jokes, I will come for lunch. I will come for lunch. But I just need to come in and write. I, I, ask me how I feel on Friday morning. Yeah. Ask me how I wake up. Early night, you know what? Thursday. Do you know what I think? I'm going to say it on the podcast right now so that you, it can never be taken back, and I don't mind, I think you're going to come in clutch. I Thank genuinely you. do, right? Thank you. But what I need from you is I need you to drop all the shit that's in your head at home, right? <laughs> come on Friday, just fresh. You've not been playing bad golf. You've not been watching too many fucking YouTube videos and shit. Just come on Friday, pressure off, and just smash the ball. Just do what you do, and you'll come clutch. But if you come in the mindset you've been recently, it's going to be hard. I'm going to come. Uh-uh. <laughs> 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 I'm joking. <laughs> I am going to come in the mindset I see fit, and that's the winning mentality. It's never led me astray before in team competitions, and it will not do on Friday. I'm going to come collect. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to rock up. The same. Yeah. I will tell you one thing though. 
I went to Hawkstone Park back end last week. And I came home with the dub across two rounds. Did you? Did okay. you win on the on the second day? Did you win the overall, did I you? Sec- I, I went overall and I came second on the second day. Wow. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hey, well, well, your boy can play Parkland when the ball doesn't go missing. You know what I mean? It's just yeah. links golf where it does go missing. Anyway, yeah. by the by, I owe you both somewhat. And everyone else on the podcast who's, who's, who's listened to it and, and sort of maybe shouted at me through the radio or whatever, warming up before a round actually does help a little bit. A little uh, bit. Jesus Christ. That's, that is... You shot too much. I hit like 20 balls. Yeah. Why don't more people do that? I don't know. I really don't know. But no, hold on. A lot of a lot of people warm up too much. Yeah, they, that's get, that, true. they get that. They they sprinkle off. They 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 get rid of the 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 fairy dust. Yeah, they grind them and they shouldn't be. It should just be getting loose. And that's what I was doing, baby. Oh, and it felt good. I striped it that day as well. On Friday morning, just to let you know, on Friday morning, you're gonna give me your phone. I'm gonna open up the YouTube app. <laughs> I'm going to click history. Yeah. There better not be any, any videos of you watching tutorials mm. on Friday morning. Yeah. And then I'm going to have your phone and I'm going to go on Pornhub and I'm going to go <laughs> to <through> history. <laughs> <laughs> no, there'll be no, there'll be no such um, activities because I'm past the world of YouTube now. I'm, I'm well and truly in the world of, Getting a lesson by paid professionals. Yeah, you've transcended into another world. I've tried. As I'm saying, it's night and day between this year and last year. It's night yeah. and day. Ed. You're gonna see it. It's gonna. I'm hitting a nice draw. When it. Yeah. When clearly it not. Hey. You're you're clearly not hitting a nice draw. You've said that you had 29 putts. You shot really? 85. You shot 104. That does yeah. not e- equate to you hitting a a nice like two three yard draw that just drops out of the sky it's not no, that no. is it i know it's not it's a hot draw it comes in fast and it can quickly turn into <laughs> yeah, and it could, does come in fast and it could quickly turn into a hook as well but eddie, i'm not blocking it eddie um listen i think that me and you need to be sensible here now that's our captain you're talking to and yeah. you need to feed him with some confidence. So let's not give him any more shit. Okay. For our own advantage. I let's know try that. And, let's I know try that, and but build this guy up. He needs to be honest with himself. Always am. No, you're not honest. No, you're clearly yeah, not I'm, honest with yourself. I'm I'm straight <laughs> and you're bent. They're facts. <laughs> <laughs> okay? That's what's going to happen. I... You guys really do you know how much I surprise you guys. You guys surprise me just as much when you try and you, this is honestly like I've said no Tris for all my life, believe it or not, we're brothers. But Ed, I've known you well now for the best part of what? Like really well, best part of five years. Yeah. And you're still there now, both of you trying to change my mindset. It's not gonna work. <laughs> it's yeah. not gonna work. Yeah. When I when you put it like that that actually does um, help me realise how much time I've wasted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could, I could have told you that years ago, but again, you don't listen. No, that's true. I honestly feel I've, like I might not ever give you advice again. I've played my best golf without you two, and I've played my worst golf without you two, and that's a trend that will continue for the rest of my golf playing career. Yeah. But believe you me, when I get to the right. pinnacle, I will not be thanking you. Okay, whatever. So... <laughs> As the captain of our team now, mm. give us a breakdown of what you want from me and Eddie. And for the I next, ju- how, hang on, for the next however long you go, me and Eddie aren't going to cut across. We're going to wait I, for you to tell us exactly what you want and you tell us when you're finished. I literally just want you two to get, as soon as my tee shots are out of the way, yeah, I want you two to get your tee shots out of the way. But then when it, after tee shots, just hit the green. Hit the green. All right. I, you, you, you're both Division One golfers. If you don't hit the green, 
both of you, or at least one of you, on every single hole, I will be bringing a sub in next year. That's unfair. Okay. It's not. Okay, carry on. Carry on. You, you just, well, one, you just gone back on your point. You said you weren't going to interrupt, but you, but you did. Because you're whining, little bitch. The oh, truth you? is, I want you to literally just hit every green. Give me a look at the hole, and I will take more <laughs> oh, <fuck> chances. <laughs> Okay. That's all I want. And I want actually Ed, I tell a lie. I want Trist. The way I envision it is I want Trist to hit fairways and I want you to bomb bomb drives. And then the bomb the drives you don't bomb, we take Trist's ball. The balls you do bomb, we take your ball. That's all I want. And then it's green then. So is there a particular order you want to start? I've put the orders in our Texas Scramble group chat on WhatsApp and I said put in it goes Yolo, you, Eddie, me. So I collect all the raw data <laughs> oh, from the putts. That's the green. Right? Chipping, I don't mind going first because chipping's not my strong suit. Dry drives, it's Yolo first, get something out there, just in the fairway. I can then be relaxed because there's something in the fairway, loosen up, hit some bombs, and then from there it's <laughs> It's Trist, then Eddie. Eddie, I'm expecting, I'm not even joking for me now when I tell you, yeah, there's not even an ounce of, of light-heartedness in what I'm about to tell you. I expect a 56 degree in my hand every second shot you pull a driver out round Bull Bay. Trist, is that oh, too far fetched to say? Well, I mean, the 11th. If um, we're going to hit driver on the 11th, that's a bit much. Yeah, all right. Excluding par fives. Well, not really. Uh, 15, if you hit a good one on the wind's all right, it's wedge. And eight, if you hit a good one on the wind's just right, it's wedge. Yeah, but I'm not. that's a stupid thing to say, isn't it? Because I'm not going to be able to hit a driver on eight and a driver on 15 and have a sandwich into both of them. Because the, the wind sound, will be going in different directions. No, I said the wind isn't an issue. All right? You're coming across, you need to reel it down, you're coming across as a right little bitch at the moment. The viewers... <laughs> This is your time to own your game. And the viewers or the listeners, the very few of them, are probably thinking, why is this Eddie guy, the guy who's literally non-stop talked about sucking North Wales golf off, why is he not yeah. backing himself up? Just say I, yes, mate. Yeah, I'll say do yes, it. yes, captain. Yes, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, def- I mean, it's, it's difficult enough saying captain, but um, You'll do yeah, it. that's anyway. fine. I what do you think, think we're going to be doing? Like purposely not aiming to hit the green. I mean, that's yeah. I want. I want. Jan, I, yeah. I, I do if I if I can um, for the third time tonight. Just want to touch up on one thing you said. Um, you want me and Eddie to hit the green on on every hole, yeah? Yeah. That is a little bit of of a, a big ask, don't you think? No. What I want to break it down mathematically now. I want a two handicapper. Yeah, Ed? Who's two? You? Are you not two? No. No. I've never been two. 4.7. 4.7. Eddie? uh, Trist? Trist, what are you? 7.2. Right. I expect you two to hit all 18 greens between you both. Okay. All right. So... I'm, I'm going to take that on, as you said, um, I respect the hierarchy. So thank you. I'm not going to complain. I'll try my best. But if you are a good leader, you're going to lead by example and you're going to be at that team lunch by one. If you're not at that team lunch by one, yeah. I'm going to retaliate and I'm going to just completely collapse and kick off and make such a fuss mm-hmm. and you won't believe it. You well, that's not a sign of a good leader. No, because I'm a, I'm asked. No, you're the leader. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's why you. That's why you're not, because you whine, whine and cry like a little bitch. Both of you do. Just hit the greens. Okay. All right. No worries. Thank you. You, you just want a look, don't you? You just want I, a look. That's that's all I want. A look. Like yeah. a peripheral, a peripheral look. Do you know, like at the corner of your eye, like mm. you can't even see it properly. That's all I need. A sniff. Where Where are you? Where 
take into consideration obviously a different dynamic in Texas Scramble. So you're going to feel a bit more confident to be able to hit driver. Tell me the holes that you're going to be looking to like drop kick one and bomb it. <laughs> I like that drop kick. I like that. First, without doubt. Second, no, I tell like I will not. I'm going first driver. I'm going to just cut it really quickly. First driver, second iron, get us in play. And if we're in decent place, we'll take that. And if one of you guys hit an absolute peach over the fence, so be it. Four, three wood, get one in play. Six, every par four, when my tee shots are done, it's going to be driver. Long story short. Okay. Once I'm not, what driver iron, have you got now? Ping G425, and it is sweet. Right, okay. You've not even, yeah. None of you have seen me hit drivers yet, no? <gasps> no. <Aww>. Speaking, <laughs> Speaking of drivers, if you're listening to this, I need you to go on Twitter or X. It's a yeah. weird phase that we're in. I don't know what I'm calling it. I don't know if it's like a phase or something. Call it Twitter. Twitter. Go on Twitter and vote on our most recent post about drivers. I've gone to the effort of putting a post together for us to look at what we all collaboratively think has been the the, the driver that the streets won't ever forget over the last, how many years is that? 90s? It's four, de- four decades, isn't it? Four decades. So 90s, noughties, 10s and 20s. And there are obviously drivers that I haven't put in there. So I want you to tell me what, what I'm missing as well. We'll go on that vote on it because I want to then put the four finalists in place so we can vote on what we think is. And there's been some corkers so far. Mm. Um, everyone likes the Big Bertha. Everyone likes the Titleist 905R. Yeah. The the third one, the tens, is really close. It's got it's got basically the same amount of votes in each one. And uh, the last one, I think the I think the one you've got, Josh, the ping is leading that one. G forty five. That is such a good driver. Yeah, it's such so a good I think driver. So far, um, so yeah, I want you to do that. If you got Twitter, go on it and, and vote on that. I think we can move to the quiz. Okay, I've got my redemption. Oh, actually, do you want to touch on the debate you've got with Liam? Yeah, I do actually. Me and Liam Ed. Long story short, yeah. had a an incredibly heated debate prior to the first round of the Town Cup in which I played with him about who the best putter was. Well, between you and him? Between me and him. Right. And he said it's statistically impossible for a 20 handicapper to be better than a 5 handicapper at any area, including putting. And I said, bollocks, I'm a better putter than you. He got seriously rattled. We played together on the Saturday and I taught him a lesson in how to putt around Bull Bay. Did you? Ma- man was three putting like it was in fashion. I'm not even joking. It was, And he does this stupid robot stroke where he looks at the hole and he knocks it about 10 foot past and then starts crying. You're like, well, no fucking wonder, mate. It's an absolute shit stroke you've got. 29 putts I had compared to his 34, something like that. Right. Um, I... I want to give my input on this, and I genuinely think that you're a better putter than Liam. Thank so you. So I just think that whilst it is hard to believe, I don't think it's impossible for a five handicapper to be better than a 20 handicapper in every aspect of the game. It's normal, probably, and definitely, definitely the majority, but I don't think it's impossible. So... I think you are that one case. I think you're a better putter than Liam. I would. Well, I I put it all on the line and I showed him. What do you think, Ed? I have to say, I do think your putting is actually quite good. I think you, you're 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 quite free with that, aren't you? You're not sort of you're not too tense. You're quite relaxed over your putters. So yeah. Well, it's uh, the... Li- Liam is you know, obviously his his natural stance is to argue anyway at times so he's going to bite it doesn't help that the 20 handicapper that's better at golf with him is you that doesn't help (laughs) does it um but i don't know i haven't seen liam 
play for a while, but um, yeah, I mean the <laughs> the statistics will bear <laughs> bear the result out, won't they? And you've just reeled it off. Yeah, cheers for the for the support. Ed. We'll have to just put it to a test. We'll have to have to do a putting comp or something. That's the one way. T to Green can't touch him, obviously, but his putting is really awful. Are you, bat, are, you, are you a better putter than Jack? Not at the moment. On my day, yeah, but not at the moment. I've been going through some putting woes up until I got a new Scotty, and it's kind to come back into form. Have you got a new Scotty? Yeah, yeah, I've got a new Scotty. What Scott is it? Which one have you got? Trist, do you want to enlighten him? Do you know what it is? It's a uh, blade one. Yeah, I don't know, mate. Oh, no. brilliant. Is it a new port? Yes. And a friend of ours custom painted it. Oh, you went on the episode, here. Oh, yeah, I know, yeah. But yeah. Sorry. Hey, wait sorry, till Friday. Sorry. What do you mean a, a friend of yours custom painted it? So, originally Jack bought it from eBay. Uh, yeah. And it had, obviously, it had been worn. Worn out. It's um, got the three cherry dots on the back. Uh, yes, it does actually. Yeah. Right. Yeah. What the and, hell have uh, you done to it? So no, no. Listen, we gave it to a very skilled friend of ours who works in um, in Valley as a uh, as a painter, and not, not like a pack of painting sort of painter and decorator. Painter and decorator. Yeah. yeah. It, it is in he he spray paints um, aircraft parts, and he did a professional job. You'll see it. It looks clean. It looks professional. It, you wouldn't even tell me. Well, what colour is it? Black. It was black oh. and it is black. <laughs> I can tell you're disappointed. What do you do that you for? You'll be kissing it come 18, mate. Honestly. Mm. Take, okay. take my take my Scotty Cameron out your ass head. That's what I'll be saying on 18. <laughs> <laughs> right, quiz. Fuck it up. Fuck me. Let's go, baby. Okay, all right, uh, Josh, your only loss this season so far is to the one Eddie. on your screen there, Edward Beardsley. Pulling fingers at me through the laptop, is he? Coming down to my face. Um, this one, I think, is pretty difficult. So, we'll see how you get on. And the listeners, obviously. Is this a general golfing knowledge yeah, or is it about all, a specific topic? No, they're all general knowledge. Um, actually, on that note, I I never know how the listeners actually get on. No one ever tells me what their score was. No one ever says like, "Oh, I got five out of five or whatever." Mind your business. No, that's a good point as well. Okay, number one, Texas Scramble hasn't always been known as Texas Scramble. Any ideas on what it was originally called? Green Sims. No. That's a different format. Quick fire. I've got no idea. Sorry. Okay. It was called Captain's Choice. And in the 1950s, it became very popular. Where? Texas. Texas. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. That's a point for me, surely. No, is it? That's oh, come point. on. No, that's not a point. Half a point. No, we don't do half points. Right. <laughs> Who has the third most majors ever? Gene Salazar. No. Quick fire. Yeah, Ed, you Gary you're, Player. No, but it's not Gary Player, but you are really skirting the rules here. It's quick fire. All right, okay. Okay. You can both go again. Ben Hogan? No. Josh. Uh no, I know who it is. I literally Googled it the other day and I've forgotten his name. You uh Googled it the other day. No, I <laughs> I Googled to see how many runners up some of that. Oh, it's um I don't know. I give up. Tell us. It's Walter Hagen. Walter oh. Hagen. Oh. Any ideas on how many he's got? Yeah, it's 11. Yeah, 11. Oh, yeah. I get a point for that. Half mm. point. Shut up, Eddie. He's taking the mick out of you, Ed. I'd have given you half a point then if you weren't being such a fucking bitch about it. <laughs> <laughs> if I am a looper, what am I? You go from out to in. Swing path. No. No. I've got no idea. I've got no idea what that means. I, I would have known that one. Would you? 
Yeah. What is it? Kenny Yule. Caddy. Caddy. But you don't get the right. point because I gave you that. Right. Petition to get a new quiz master in. So you've got three <laughs> questions have, have gone and, and you actually have zero points each. So it's There's no, three. those questions are hard, mate. Sorry. You can't expect us to get that. I would have had yeah. that. So I'd, I'd be winning. I'd be on one point. Well, that's easy for a quiz master to say, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. What's a shagger? Me. <laughs> one point. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> um, four. This last weekend saw the first French winner of the Evian Championship. Who was it? <laughs> We're not paying ourselves in a good light here, lad. We're going to be golf fans. I couldn't tell you. Something Lopez? Guess. No, it was Celine Boutier. Oh, that was close. Uh, okay, so that is four questions <laughs> from, now. Oh, from four, baby. We're donating, Ed. But we're now on, this, on the last, it's technically a sudden death question. <sighs> How many Irish major champions have there been? Two. No. I just guessed Four. quick fire. No, so you can both go again. Three. No. Five. No. You not none. You now that you've guessed that many times, this being the shittest draw ever. So I'm gonna have to think of another question, but I can't think of one at the top of my head. That was Podrick. so 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 bad. All right, let's just try and name them. Ed. Podrick, Clark. Rory, Darren Graham Clark, McDowell. Shane Lowry, Shane Lowry. Graham McDowell. So the answer's six. So now it, go through it. Yeah, we've got five of them. Lowry, McDowell, Clark, yeah. McElroy, yeah. Yeah. Harrington. Harrington. Yeah. Any older listeners would know this by now, and they've probably been shouting at the radio, Fred Daly. Right. There's no chance you would have got Fred Daly either. No. no. I, would, I wouldn't have. But I would have won yeah. on one point. I would have won on two points. Celine Boutier and um, Looper. I don't believe that. I, I think you'd have got one because I know you're watching the women's golf on the weekend. There's no way you'd have got Looper. I'm not being funny. I don't want to change the tone. It's my fucking quiz and my rules. <laughs> right? You both done shit there and you'll have to just take it. It's You drew with zero points each. End of. A score draw. <laughs> half a point, half a point. Oh, well. Half a point. Right, on to this week's debate. It's Tris Bent. No. Yes. Yes. After that quiz, he is. <laughs> yeah, you are. Okay, I want to touch on last week's debate, um, and it's continuing to this week. We don't have so a watch. So just to clarify to the listeners, is the debate is should JT be did, in the Ryder Cup? Did, 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 you, did you think I wasn't going to do that? Yes. Okay. What <laughs> so far has led you to believe that I wouldn't actually do that? Um, Nothing at all. My lack of faith. Okay. So to recap on last week, it was whether Justin Thomas should go to the Ryder Cup in our opinion. And we um, put a poll on Twitter and we found basically something like 54% said, yes, he should go. 48% making these up. I'm not even going to get to 100%. 48% uh, said he shouldn't. And the rest said um, still undecided. So it was very, very, very close. But thanks to Mike Jones, otherwise known as Sport EM on Twitter, um, pointed out a very good point, which was JT's scorecard is full of birdies, but he's making a lot of doubles, or like you like to call them, Josh, quads and triples. He can't get rid of them. Yeah? Yeah, baby. So in the match play, they're not going to be punished in the same way. So what I wanted some opinions on is, if you looked at that, 
would you be more likely to take him based on that? No. It's a very good point, and I'm going to cut across Eddie because he looks like he is um, deep in thought about this and silence doesn't bode well on a podcast. I would not take him. <laughs> I. It's a very good point Mike raised. It is a great one. Uh, the only thing is, I would have been willing to listen to it a lot more had he not missed the cut this weekend or last tournament. See, I he would missed take the cut him. again. I, I would take him. I take him. Yeah, but I wouldn't. I, I, I can't. I don't really agree with that because if he's hitting it off the planet from time to time, that's not going to put his partner in a particularly good position. Um, and even when he and and when the partner does hit it well down the fairway off the tee or onto the green on a par three, um, that safety blanket's going to go in the singles. I personally would take him because of his relationship with um, Jordan, Spieth. Uh, Jordan Spieth. I think they're a formidable uh, team. And I think that that would rekindle <clears throat> his his level. And to, with the greatest of respect to Keegan Bradley, I know that he's had a fairly good year. And I know he's had a win or a couple of wins, maybe. And this sounds really harsh, but I would be taking Justin Thomas ahead of Keegan Bradley. Yeah, so would I. What I'm doing now, guys, sorry, whilst, whilst you're there, I think you're wondering what I'm doing. I'm going to Google quickly. I've what, got the list here. No, no, what Spieth and Jordan uh, and JT's Ryder Cup record is. It'll be good, mate. It'll be good. It'll be it'll definitely more wins than losses. Yeah. Wow, okay. Hold on. Yeah. Um Wow. Eight one three in their previous partnerships in the previous cups dating back to the 2014 fourteen twenty fourteen Ryder Cup. So eight wins, one draw and three losses. Or... I don't know how I don't know how that is. If it's like boxing it means eight wins, one loss, three halves, but I don't know which way it's formatted. But either way it's still impressive. So yeah, you 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 raise a more valid point than I thought. You can I? Yeah, can I? I want to. I don't know if you've thought about this, Josh, but you've completely contradicted yourself. And I don't mean that in a judgmental way. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Trust me. I just want your opinion. Okay. If me and Eddie were the captain of our right of our Texas Scramble team, mm. you would be saying we've got reason to choose you based on previous performances and based on the fact that we think you pull out the bag. So you're why, not the captain. Yeah, but why not? Why should <laughs> an American captain do that for JT? Because your point was that he doesn't deserve it. Because you take me out of the Texas Scramble team, I'm borderline irreplaceable because okay. I'm an absolute bargain at 20 handicap for the shots yeah. I'm going to play on Friday. Yeah. You take Justin Thomas out of the Ryder Cup standings yeah. and another Justin Thomas just fills his spot. Yeah, Ryder Cup isn't about just the, the, the eighth best player in the world or whatever t- turning but up. You Ryder. Look- the Ryder Cup's bigger than that, isn't it? The Ryder Cup is different. The Ryder Cup isn't about your rankings and how it features coming into September. But you look at the, like I said last week, You've got 12 players. Ahead. You've got actually got 13 players ahead of JT in the Ryder Cup rankings, which is surprising considering how, how bad he's played. I think it might be based on last year as well. But then you've also got about three or four people on the live tour who are playing better than he is. Uh, don't so, say Patrick Reed. Well, mate, he, he's captain America. Yeah, I know. I just can't be yeah. asked. He's, yeah, but... Uh, <laughs> He, the the benefit that you're going to get out of Justin Thomas working with Jordan Spieth will outweigh what Patrick Reed brings. Sorry, they're going to play, they're going to play all the doubles matches. And you know what? If I was the Americans as well, if I was the Americans, sounds weird. If I was the American team, considering the way golf has been over the last two years, I think it would be sensible. And this isn't me 
saying that one tour should take more precedent than another. What I'm saying is if I was the American team, I would have a heavily PGA featured team for um, camaraderie, for um, chemistry. Chemistry, sorry, yeah, chemistry between the team. And I would drip feed live players in. I wouldn't have more than three if that live players, because then you are bringing the possibility of arguments, in house dramas, in house disagreements, two segregated teams. You know that it's going to come up on the driving range or in the uh, locker room at some point. If they've got a, a PGA heavy team with the likes of Kepka in it, you know it's going to be fine. If you bring in the likes of Patrick Reed, who's pissed everybody off, fucking hell, probably sent a lawsuit to half the team's doorstep. Why would you do it? And Tiger Woods' his doorstep. <laughs> oh, no, Rory yeah. McIlroy, wasn't it? It's Rory McIlroy. Rory McIlroy, yeah. I tell you what, two things. I would not want to be Zach Johnson having to pick this team because looking down this list, I mean, I know that they're on the live tour, but um, Dustin. Uh, Johnson, I know that he's not playing particularly well, but still a big name. You got Bryson. Um, I would not want to be making a, a decision between this lot. No chance. The other point I want to make is, I think did you say last week just that you think that Europe are going to win? Yeah. Yes. I can't see that. I do. I I, I cannot. I can't see that. As well, much as I'll be cheering them on, no, I don't think there's the, a, the levels that these guys are at in the USA team. I said last week, I think this team that they pick now will be even stronger than the last one. Like, it, it, it's it's unbelievable the, the depth they've got. It's unreal. Someone go on Paddy Power and get me the odds on Josh right. to be the star on the Texas Scramble and hmm. Europe to win the United Cup in Italy. Right, the other the thing I just wanted to pick up on is something evens. that you said then, Josh. You just said you're an absolute bargain for us being off 20 handicap the only you would be a bargain right if you had uh if you had a pedigree in shooting 40 points <laughs> yeah and then shooting 32 but then 42 and then 31 like you said about jack the other week when he went he's got that fight in him he's got that dog in him but 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 the the when I when I when the when the when I look at the data and when I come on this podcast right you're going oh yeah 85 net 100 104 net was that 104 net the other gross one? oh gross Cheeky sorry because it was the same round uh I, I I that's where I struggle with you I, I want to give you praise but when you wheel this shit out of you being a bargain at 20 handicap, I just struggle with it, mate. And I want you to do really well. But I well, think you need to go through a process of being, coming to terms with a few things that will set you at ease. Well, lucky for the listeners, we're hoping to have video evidence of the whole round come Friday. Oh, we're not going to have the whole round, are we? No, we're not, we're not going to have the whole round. I'll tell you why, because... I know that I need to be in the zone and I'm hoping you're in the zone. So if you can't get in the zone with a little iPhone watching you, then I don't know what sort of mentality that says about both of you. It would actually, it would actually elevate me. Okay. Hopefully we do have something for the listeners to see, uh, so we can feed back on. Um, but no, it won't be a live unless you can find someone stupid enough and brave enough to walk around with us then they can do what they want and they can record what they want but whilst you're in the team and um, you're the captain by the way i'm just yeah. the uh i'm just uh, uh this is just a suggestion i suggest that you put your head in the fucking game and you play some golf what are you ea sports mate get your head in the, the, what's this nonsense about like <laughs> i will be there and i like i will be present i'll be leading Setting by example, hole in putts. And don't Name even say. Sports. No, I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Right, quick question before we uh, before we sort of round it off. Um, yeah. Rory and Ram, yeah. are they going to be pay- are they going to be paired together? Yeah. In the Ryder Cup, or do you put all your your eggs no. in one basket and just get one point, or do you spread them out and re- and then obviously the the likelihood of them getting one point is a guaranteed point is, is reduced, but the likelihood of winning two is increased. 
if you get me. No, I would be putting them together, me. I wouldn't risk um, putting them in different teams. I, I, would be, I would be putting them in different teams. And me. Based on what? Because there's so or much averages. experience there that you'll... I think you need to actually take benefit from splitting that and getting them to work with people who haven't actually had that much experience. Like R- Rob McIntyre, he's going to need to play with someone like John Ram or Rory McIlroy, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it's a fair point, to be honest. I just don't think you can risk um, the possibility of a point. But nothing's guaranteed, is it? I mean, yeah. you watch that they put Phil Mickelson and Tiger Woods together one year. They got absolutely trounced. They were number one and number two in the world. Like, yeah, but at the yeah. same time, that so- it, it might be hindsight, but that sounds like a bad idea. Yeah, it is a bad idea. Yeah, so <laughs> that that's not the same, is it? Rory and uh, Ram are good mates. They have a lot different respect for each other than Tiger and Phil did. They've got a completely different dynamic in the relationship. Fuck mm. me. I honestly don't know why they did put Tiger and Phil together. Well, yeah, it got pulled apart. Well, John Ram wasn't particularly happy with Rory at the uh, Open, was he? I think he was getting a bit pissed off with all the people who were following him. That was the people, mate. I wasn't with my man Rory. And I think I think you've got to you've got to put Ram is Spanish. He's got that fire in him. He's going to want to. And Rory's the same. You've got, he's you've got that dog in him. He's got that dog <laughs> in him. Rory and Lowry will be a partnership. Yeah, that that's what it'll be. Yeah, I forgot about that. Okay, case closed. That's the end. Yeah, yeah. That that you're right. That that will be it. I was going to ask if there was any other Spanish on the team, but it's the the Irish. It'll be because it, Lowry and McElroy played um, warm up. Yeah, warm ups for the Open together, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Paddy Carrington. I think uh, be a good Paddy one. might Paddy might be in with a shout of getting in. Captain yeah, Jones. that's one of the debates. Well, yeah, it was. Yeah, it's a good one. Okay, right, that's enough. I'm tired. Yeah, I'm bored of you two now as well. Yeah, fair enough. Right, so we'll see you Friday for the team lunch at one o'clock. Okay, let's do it. You're gonna be it. there. I do you know why the saying is um, be there or be square? No, because if uh, you're square, you're not around. You're welcome. See you next week. Like, comment, subscribe. (laughs) 